Hello everyone. So my name is Haley Wan and I'm a freshman here at Central. And today for this video, I'm going to be sharing with you Mark 11 verses 20 through 25. The barren fig tree is withered. Early in the morning, as they were passing by, they saw the fig tree withered from the roots up. Then Peter remembered and said to him, Rabbi, look, the fig tree that you cursed has withered. Jesus replied to them, Have faith in God. Truly I tell you, if anyone says to this mountain, Be lifted up and thrown to the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says will happen, it will be done for him. Therefore, I tell you, everything you pray and ask for, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. And whenever you stand praying, if you have anything against anyone, forgive him, so that your Father in heaven will also forgive you your wrongdoing. So when I'm looking at this scripture, um, I look at the title of it. And the first paragraph of it is talking about how the disciples walk by a um, fi withered fig tree. And um, when I look at it, I relate it to relationships in a sense. So, um, Rabbi, as you can tell, um, he cursed the fig tree and it ended up withering. And when I relate this with relationships, I think of how um, our negative words and actions can affect people and how if we don't want, if we don't um, forgive our past wrongdoings, then um, our relationship with people will wither away just like the fig tree withered. And um, in this scripture, one of the main verses that stand out the most to me is the last verse, which is verse 25, and it says, And whenever you stand praying, if you have anything against anyone, forgive him, so that your Father in heaven will also forgive you your wrongdoing. And um, this verse in particular relates to the relationship part that I was talking about at the beginning, um, and how as Christians, we need to watch what we say and our actions towards other people and how it can negatively or positively affect them. And this is very important because um, God, ideally, he wants us to um, acknowledge what we did um, if it was wrong. And he wants us to forgive so that in a way we can um, re reconcile our relationships and ideally not let our relationships wither away like the fig tree. And um, I... The last part, um, I just want to say that um, we as Christians are tasked by God, that um, he wants us to be humble and he wants us to show unconditional love, just like he has shown us. And with that, I am going to be praying us out. Dear Heavenly Father, um, I thank you for today. I thank you for all the people that we get to see around campus and around the town of Pella or wherever we are. Um, I thank you for all the relationships that you have shown us, whether they be past, present, or future relationships, um, and how we have reconciled with them, or even some relationships that we still need to reconcile with. Um, but most importantly, I thank you for the relationship that we have with you. Um, I thank you for showing us how much you truly love us and how much you show us to be humble in our day-to-day -day lives and how much that we should try to walk like you um, and be unconditionally loving of everyone around us. And it's in your name we pray, amen.